Hi guys, <laughs> um, I've decided to make this mo uh, video, movie, whatever you want to call it, tutorial, because it seems that some people are having difficulties following my um, tutorial here or my guide which is how to enable and tweak 3D compatibility mode in any DirectX 11 game which basically tells you how you can swap a profile a game profile with one of your own so everything is described in plain text here but apparently more and more people are having issues with this um, following the guide. As you can see I have the uh, GeForce experience installed, I also have the 3D Vision drivers installed but currently is disabled because I'm uh, recording this with shadow play and if it's enabled it will record in stereo and I don't want that for this uh, video. So according to the guide, the first thing is we start the 3D profile manager and you have two buttons export and import before we even hit the export one we need to navigate to C program data not program files not program files x86 but program data now this folder is hidden what is a system folder and most of the time you will not see it because it's hidden. Uh, you can go to uh, folder and files option I, I think and um, there's an option there saying to show uh, system hidden files or something like that or you can go to the start actually you can right click on the start select run and you can type C slash progr program data and hit enter and it will get you inside that folder. Now according to the guide you need to find the NVIDIA folder. There is the NVIDIA one which you see it's exactly like this and there's the NVIDIA corporation one. If you go inside the NVIDIA corporation one you'll find the DRS folder and here are the three files that are explained in the guide. So before we export the profile, we want to de de delete this file nvdrscell.bin. Going to delete it. Then I'm going to export and I'm going to save them on desktop as Nvidia profiles, right? Yes. Success. Everything was exported. Now, the moment you hit export, you see the selector file is generated again, so we delete it again. Just be sure it's deleted. Um, <coughs> now, if we open this one, you can actually see all the profiles inside. And then, if you just want to swap a profile, you find the right profile. And you just basically delete it and swap it with the, um, the other profile or you can add different stuff if you're an advanced user or modify flags and stuff like that so after you've finished editing and yes I want to save you just go back here and make sure the selector file is not generated and you say import and you select the file that you exported and you say open and it's imported and once it's imported the selector file is generated again the selector file gets generated when you export and you, when you import it's mandatory to sell to delete this file otherwise the exported profiles are not correctly generated or they are not correctly imported Without deleting this file, you will not get the desired result. Moreover, you will most likely encounter an error saying cannot import the profiles for some weird reason which is not actually explained. But that's why you get an error. 
because you fail to navigate to program data again it's program data not program files there is in program files there is a folder un under NVIDIA Corporation that has a DRS but as you can see the files the, the binary files that we are looking for are not there so it's program data you get them there okay that's it now you can close and now you have all the new profiles inside here under manage 3d city settings or if, if you're uh, familiar with nvidia inspector you have them there and you can tweak them there even uh, even more um, yes um, I th believe I already have a file, a video showing how to import and export um, profiles from um, NVIDIA Inspector, so uh, I link that one next to this video as well. Catch you later!